National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got a showdown in the Sunshine State. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Miami Dolphins. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. It's had many names, but only one NFL team over the years. We're at the home of the Dolphins, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. Thanks for joining us, football fans. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt in the booth for this one. And Brock, any play could be a big play with the type of wide receivers we have here today. It's gotten to the point where you simply can't cover, Kate, the elite receivers in the NFL today. You know they're going to get their looks early and often. And you just hope to contain them because you're exactly right. Any target they get has the chance to be a game-changing play. Ball teed up. Logan Cook after the kick. And here we go from Miami. Set to return. This is Braxton Berrios. This return makes it up to the 25. So the Dolphins offense set it out for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the fifth-year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tonga Vailoa. To his early career, yeah, it was known for injuries. Maybe not being as durable and as available as you want in a top-10 pick. But the last few years, he's taken great strides to rewrite that narrative. Remember, this was a guy that rewrote the record books in Hawaii, won a national championship at Alabama, and nobody questioned the accuracy of that left arm. It was just the availability, well, that he's had to rewrite, and he's done a heck of a job. First play of the drive. Here's Mostert. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, will largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Two and now from the gun. Escapes the pocket. He's on the move. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. So after the play, we have the trainers headed out. Looks like a member of the Dolphins out there is in some discomfort. First down, ball at the 36. Counter give to Moster. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Shotgun snap now to Tonga Bailoa. Home in by Waddle. Decent gain here, but short of the first. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. All plays on the table here for third and three. Tonga Bailoa now working from the gun. That's into the hands of Moster. Ooh, play didn't develop like he needed. He goes out behind the line. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. Now it's Jake Bailey who's out to punt this for the Dolphins. And this will bring a drive that had some promise to a disappointing end. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here are the Jaguars taking over for the first time on offense. And bringing them out in his fourth season since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. 
The numbers from a season ago for Trevor Lawrence, pretty emblematic of that up and down season for Jacksonville. Over 4,000 yards and 21 touchdowns. The 14 interceptions has got to be cleaned up for this team to play above the 500 ball they did a year ago. Trevor's athleticism, Trevor's arm is off the charts. Now he and his team got to put it all together consistently. Davis, the motion man right. Quick throw, right side, complete to start this drive. And he's short of the first after a mild game. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Now Lawrence down the play fake. Escapes a defender. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Connect on first, it's second down. Here's Travis Etienne on the ground. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O line, and go, What am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Throwing his Lawrence on third down. That's caught for the first. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. So far, so good to begin this one as they've got a new set of downs beyond midfield. First down throw, Lawrence. Short pass caught by his tight end. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a Jaguar first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. They just keep working it forward early. We've got first and 10 now from the 35. That is caught by Brian Thomas Jr. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Here's Etienne on first down. Gets to space right side. And finally, he's down at the five-yard line. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars have a great first drive and get the game's first points. It's a Christian Kirk touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder... What's in store? Cam Little to try the extra points. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Ah, 
on now is Cook to kick this away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So Miami headed out for its second drive of the game. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. The drive begins with a run for Moster. And he's going to get up to about the 33, but no more. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. It's Mostert on second down. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Call it no gain on the play, and that brings up third and nine. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Throwing. Here's Tonga Bailoa on third. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it. Leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So the Dolphins readying for the punt. Have to return this for the Jaguars, Devin Duverday. Fair catch the signal, and he brings it in at the 23. So no return on that punt. And it'll be Jaguars football. Second drive coming up for the Jacksonville offense. And they take the field exactly where they want it to be, Brock. Off a touchdown early and with the home crowd a little quieter than normal. I'm not going to lie to you, Kate. I think most quarterbacks, competitors love playing on the road when they do just this. Just quiet them. Right? Turn them against their own team. They were quiet after that opening touchdown. You score another one, they're going to start to murmur and we might even hear a few boo birds. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Second down now, seven to go. ETN again. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Here he is on third and long. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. On fourth down, it's Logan Cook on for the Jaguars to punch it away. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt goes 63 yards. And it'll be Dolphins football. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Tonga Vailoa on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. He's keeping it. 
And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs. But so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. From the 45 on second down. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Out of the gun, Tonga Vailoa. He puts some power on a deep one left. Brought in inside the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins get it down to a single point. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Jason Sanders to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. Sanders all set to send it away. Devin Duvernay to return it. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. Out now runs the Jaguars offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First and ten now from the 30. Here's Lawrence to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. Pick up of a few as he heads out of bounds. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, and just find a way to get him the ball. Here we go, second and nine. To left sideline, complete. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Kirk comes in motion right. Whiteout's getting involved in the ground game. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Can I have a moment, Kate? Just a moment to marvel at how well they reacted to that play on defense. They were all over it from the start, getting behind the line to blow up a play that how many times do we see his highlight reel touchdowns going the other way? From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And then brings up third down. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Pass is caught at the nine. 
and they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down, and nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Just about every draw play in the book is headed right up the gut. But that doesn't mean you can ignore those DNs and the pressure they create on the edges. You've got to hold them off. And if you don't, well, bad things happen just like that. It's second and goal. Now toss it to ETN. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Only a yard on the pickup. That leaves him with third and goal at the six. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. Lawrence on third and goal. Nice work by the back here. Playing safety valve complete. And he takes it down to the two, but no touchdown yet. He's out of bounds. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online. You feel good about it. It's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. The Miami offense headed out there now. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They've got first down from the 31. They bring Barrios in motion. First down, here's two up. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And they scoop it up, time to push for the line. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, you don't like to see the fumble, but hey, at least they were able to be the ones to recover it, and they keep possession. Yeah, and I think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos. Cooler heads prevailed and got him the ball back. After the sack, another pass on second down. On target to his man, Barrios. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. A less than ideal third and eight here. Two off the play fake. Oh, it put some heat on that one, Brock, but it falls incomplete. Man, that ball looked good out of his hands. It just couldn't get through the defense cleanly. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. On again comes Jake Bailey to punt this away. Scary sight deep. It's Devin DuVernay waiting for it. And he's had a very busy game already, Brock. Third time they've called on him as he gets this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that punt a 52-yard effort. And they're going to take over possession.
It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Etienne to begin the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Lawrence working from the gun. Falls to the ground out left, incomplete. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Sterator index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Throw right side, caught by Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They'll give this up the middle to ETN. And he's able to take this up pretty close to that 40-yard line. Solid 40-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slareth, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Finding Davis. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Second and three now. Lawrence now off the play action. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars stretch their early lead to nine. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. On his little for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Miami set to take over once again on offense. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Go, 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 
to it now from the gun. This one finds Barrios. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. They won't snap it in time. That is going to be the end of the first quarter. Our score, 17-7. to Back to Hard Rock Stadium right after this. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Dolphin football as we begin. They start out with a second and three. Shotgun snap now to Tonga Vailoa. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. Couldn't connect with Tyreek Hill. And now it's third and short. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Tonga Vailoa now working from the gun. Jukes one defender. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First and 10 from the 41. Here's Tonga Vailoa again. Able to get it to Mostert. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Ooh, he knew he was going to pay for throwing that. I knew it from up here in the booth watching that happen. But that's an experienced quarterback. If that first primary target isn't there, make sure you find your safety valve. And that got them some yards. So taking that shot, well, it was not for nothing. They motion the tight end over. Here's two again. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And now they're going to face third down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Sticking to the air, it's Tunga Vailoa. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Couldn't connect with Tyreek Hill. So that brings up fourth down. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away. The next time, well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 54-yard punt that time. And it'll be their football. They're out and set. First and ten. Now Lawrence on the play fake. This one falls incomplete. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he gets it up close to the 25 before he's out of bounds. All plays on the table here for third and three. Now Lawrence. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. 
That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Now give, it's ETN headed left. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We get a stoppage here. One of their big blockers up front. In some pain following that play. He's being attended to. All right, here we go, second down. They go right back to ETN. And he's brought down up across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of three after the loss, but still third and eight to work with. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game, the type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Motioning left is Thomas. Throwing is Lawrence on third down. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. That tackle made by the rookie from Penn State. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. They'll send Logan Cook out again for the punt. Braxton Berrios deep for the Dolphins. His first punt win 50. This is away and looks even better. Pulled in at the 20. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And after the punt, the offense comes out onto the field. And it's going to be their football coming up. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Tua setting up to throw. Completes this one to Hill. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And it'll be first down Miami. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First down, Tonga by Lord to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be touched down, Brock. Looks to be a couple yards shy of that marker. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage. The trusty tight end. They go play action with Tonga Vailoa. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find a throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Third and short, Mostert. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. And he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First and 10 now from the 30. Slot man in motion right. And he's brought down for a loss. You can keep your job in the NFL as a D-tackle if you eat up space. You really can. But you make that bag when you could defeat blocks, penetrate, and create runs for losses as a defensive tackle. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Oh, 
Here's a give inside to Mostert. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. It's a gain of four, and they're going to need twice that now on third and eight. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Throwing, here's Tonga Vilo on third. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Fourth down, and on comes Jason Sanders for the Dolphins' field goal. It's 45 yards he'll try to connect from. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give him a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll try it left with ETN. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. Those outside runs so critical for running back, quarterback, O-line to hit their targets. They got a target area to expose that defense and make the most of it. And that offense just put on display some teaching tape for it. Going to the ground again on first. And with a nice gain, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He completes it in traffic. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. They get six and a first down as well. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Offense set for a first and ten. Davis, the motion man, right. First and ten, it's Lawrence. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Receiver in motion, headed right. Sticking to the air with Lawrence. Cut near the goal line. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll run, ETN. 
And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars take a 13-point lead. Travis Etienne, the touchdown. On his little for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Dolphins and Tyreek Hill headed back out on offense. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. First play of the drive. Here's Mostert. And all he can get is one yard. Ran that right into the defensive front. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain. And some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Here we go, second and nine. On target to Waddle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. All right, set now, first and ten. Now two with a throw. That's Hill on the slant. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. I love throwing a first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Back to throw, Tua. Fires over the middle, caught. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Again, it's Tonga Vailoa. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. To the air yet again, Tunga Vailoa. That's incomplete left side. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Two off the play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. Stepping up, and he's going to run. 
And he'll go down here at the 16. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Staying between the tackles with Mostert. And he'll only find one yard up the gut, second down. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Off the play fake. Here's Tunga Vailoa. This one finds Berrios. And they'll have to swallow a loss on the play as he's touched down behind the line. Well, even a drop would have been better than that, frankly. Couldn't find a way back to the line of scrimmage, and it's a rare pass that actually loses yardage. Jaguars with an extra defensive back out there. Third down. Running back, motioning right. Tug of Iloa facing third and long. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Sanders all set to send it away. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. And he sure has put on that chef's hat to dice up their defense early in this one. Quite the appetizer that he's prepared to what could be a great overall performance. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Now Lawrence on the play fake. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted! And the Dolphins will have it right at the opposing 30 after the interception, and that return on top of it. He was trying to fit it into a window in the zone coverage, but by the time he let it go, boy, Brock, that lane had closed and someone was there to make a play on now, it. Now, what you're trying to do in zone coverage defensively is make that quarterback see a window that isn't actually there. And as soon as he takes the bait and sends it over the middle, well, you got one, two, three defenders all there in range to go pick it off. The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. First and ten now from the 30. Tunga Vailoa off the play fake. He's fine Smith. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. First down. Here's Tua. That one's incomplete in the end zone. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Oh. 
Shotgun handoff for Mostert. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Shotgun snap now to Tonga Vailoa. Really fired that one, but they couldn't connect. Nearly an interception on that play. And now they're staring at fourth and long. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, he just couldn't quite hang on. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that brings the deficit back within a score. Eight points. Give him the first half trifecta. He's three for three on field goals. And as much as they'd like six points to end drives, not three, they can at least be happy they're getting consistent looks inside field goal range. And he's delivering. that lead cut down to eight after that score and the kick is away has this at the six and pretty solid field position starting out here Brock he's tackled at the 29 the Jaguars ready for their next series let out on offense by their quarterback and at the pace he's begun the game throwing the football Brock he is in line for a special type of performance if they need to keep throwing it until the end They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Lawrence now off the play action. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. We've hit the two-minute warning now at Hard Rock. And it's the Jaguars with a second and seven. from the 32 splits a couple of defenders and completes it and he'll pick up enough to move the chains I think the defense is still turned around looking for where the ball is because that QB and tight ends they got that ball out in a hurry and the slated downs to approach here from the 40 first down throw Lawrence Coming deep behind the line oh the ball is out but the Jaguars get back on top of the loose football. They're keeping possession. Well, I think you know the only thing redeeming about that play, Kate. They got the ball back. Yeah, well done. Yeah, they got the ball back <laughs> for a whole lot longer down the distance. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. On the run, it's ETN. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. So a really tough spot here. This is third and a country mile. They send a tight end in motion. ETN on third down. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Miami calls a timeout here. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Logan Cook on the punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they'll get ready to go on offense.
The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. Two and now from the gun. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a thrower for something. It brings up second down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Throwing again. Here's Tua. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Looking to throw. That's cut for the first. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. So it's halftime, and the visiting Jaguars have played themselves to a nice little lead thus far. Now we'll send you up to Orlando, our studios there, for Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. One of the top performers in that first half was the running back, Travis Etienne. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Sanders all set to send it away. His return starts at the five. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Jaguars headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can, putting together quite the game for himself in the process. First and ten now from the 30. Out of the gun, a give to ETN. And this one doesn't go far. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. Throwing now off play action. To the left sideline, complete. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47 yard line. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Here's a give to ETN. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. First down play nets him five. It's going to be second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 41. That's taken in by ETN. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it, to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. From the gun, ETN gets it. 
And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense, forcing a fourth down. Jacksonville in punt formation. Logan Cook, the one to kick it away. That one hits at the six, but can't check up. It gets into the end zone for a touchback. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. They're out and set, first and 10. Out of the gun, tongue of my law. Short pass, caught by his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. There's no negatives ever on a grade sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're gonna take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. And the receiver's gonna take this one on the jet sweep. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. And it's a nickel set from the Jags on this third down. Going play action, Tonga Vailoa. To the sideline, and it is caught. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. And those are the completions they rely on in their passing game. Ball on the 45, first and 10. On play action, here's Tunga Vailoa. Completes this one to Hill. The ball is loose. Jax, pick it up. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is at a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. The visitors, then running back Travis Etienne, trotting back out to the field. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they can really use some more points on this. So just like all touchdowns, all turnovers also reviewed, and they want to take another look at this one. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Back to throw, here's Tonga Vailoa. He's got it to him yet again, that is caught. You know, kid, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you gotta earn the right to rush the passer. You gotta earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They go play action with Tonga Vailoa. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they're going to touch him down after a short pickup. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Battle coming up on third and inches. Here's two again. 
complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Two off the play fake. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And that makes it second and goal. You know, that type of play is so doggone impressive. Not just because it saves a touchdown. He had timed that perfectly to knock it free without drawing a flag or letting him establish possession for the score. Again, it's Tonga Bailoa. Escapes the pocket. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins start the second half with some needed points. To a Tonga Bailoa with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. Off the play fake. Here's Tonga Vailoa. He has it. Ooh, and he can't shake the defense. They track him down in the backfield, and this two-point attempt fails. Man, just great work by the defense there, Brock. The coverage really forced that throw short of the goal line, and then they got downhill to clean that play up. I love that word right there. You just nailed it. Downhill. You throw it short, you allow those defenders with great speed and tenacity to come downhill on you. No chance for the two points. We're down to a two-point difference as they send the kick away. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. And those legs must be tired, but he ain't stopping Brock. Not with the type of game that he's been having for himself on the ground. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Quick slant here to Kirk. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. Up the middle they go with Bigsby. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. They manage a single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. Lawrence working from the gun. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed, enough to keep this drive moving. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Out 
Out of the gun, Lawrence. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Lawrence trying again on second. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Sticking in the air with Lawrence. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. And the Dolphins get it back as he intercepts him for the second time this game. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've gotten him for picks in this game. And he's got to be careful. Right? You've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense. And this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket. And you know they're going to be going after number three. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. All their scoring has kept them close, but they still find themselves trailing by just a little in this third quarter. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. The drive begins with a run from... Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. Well, that is not how you make the most of an opportunity when your defense gives you the football back. But the good news is, Brock, at least they get another shot at it. Yeah, when you're running on the field, you feel the joy of that defense, right? They just got you a possession. They're giving you an opportunity. And thankfully, they saved the day by at least jumping on the ball. Two out of the pistol. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Throwing. Here's Tonga Vilo on third. He's Marley won't risk something here and just chucks it away. Looking for his wide receiver there. So that brings up fourth and long. So many coaches love third downs and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. And the fair catch made here at the 15. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it'll be Jaguars football. Now the Jaguars offense ready to take over once more. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. ETN to begin the drive. They hold him to a modest gain here to the 19. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. ETN again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. He musters up three yards on the run. That sets up third and four.
from the shotgun, Lawrence. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll come up first and ten. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They'll give this up the middle to ETN. And he'll take this up to about the 34 before he stopped. He got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. They go right back to ETN. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Only a yard that time. It forces fourth and one. The Jaguars in a punt formation. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And they avoid a return on the play. This one bounces and gets out at the 25-yard line. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And I think by this point, we can all agree, Brock, that he is not going to be stopped until the clock stops at the end of this game. He just continues to make catches count in this second half. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They motion Waddle over left. First down, here's two up. Wow, very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. Trying to find Jalen Waddle, and now they face second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field, but in this close... You really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Second and ten now. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Tunga Vailoa off the play fake. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. So the Dolphins readying for the punt. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And they're going to take over possession. They've got first down from the 31. Lawrence now off the play action. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Couldn't find Brian Thomas Jr. on that throw. So it's second down coming up. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, 
But then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. That's Thomas. He's got it. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Now give. It's ETN headed left. And out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Now Lawrence on the play fake. To the sideline. Oh, he's got it. What a toe tap. Great catch there. It's a gain of four there. And that's a Jaguar first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. First down, ball at the 36. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Now we give left side to Bigsby. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. One yard on the run, so just three yards across those last two carries. It's third and seven. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try it left with ETN. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Give him just one yard, I think, on the run. Still some work to do here on second and goal. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Now it's a bootleg for him. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars lengthen the lead at the end of the third. I should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But, uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two scores <laughs> now... It's, what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. On his little for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
And now is Cook to kick this away. His return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Dolphins sending their offense back out there. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's a give inside to Moster. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he put some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Completes this one to Hill. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Going on third, Tonga Bailoa. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get them enough for a first down. This one goes for three yards. And it'll be first down, Miami. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's Dolphins ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode. They trail to start the fourth. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On play action, here's Tunga Vailoa. Called in by Waddle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically. But I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Not first down. Here's Tonga Vailoa. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Jaguars are tackled on the return after taking the interception back to the 25. And just like that, a really good drive is taken away with an INT. Sure was a lot of promise on that series, right? Yeah. That's a small silver lining for them at the very least, but probably won't be much comfort now. And it's going to feel even worse when this quarterback watches the tape tomorrow. Jacksonville heading out there on offense. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. They're out and set. First and ten. Now it's Lawrence. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. So it'll be second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Christian Kirk, the intended receiver. So they're left facing third and long. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. An incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. Throwing is Lawrence on third down. He's got the hookup to Ingram. 
And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He finds 37 yards on the play to move those chains. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Down inside the 40 now with a first down following that last play. Running it here with ETN. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Lawrence working from the gun. He'll get this out right side. Complete. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Hits his man on the out route. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars could lock away the win as they make it a 15-point game. It's a Christian Kirk touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, as they drive forward to what right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure has taken advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Mm. Just more and more equity, certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. They'll try it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone. They go for two, and that gives them a three-score advantage. You know, this game can be pretty simple. Beat the man in front of you, carry the ball over the line, rushing football at its finest. On now is Cook to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return of the 27. The Dolphins are back on offense to a tongue of Iloa out there once again. And it just feels like he's been fighting uphill since this one kicked off today, doesn't it? The mistakes just canceling out a lot of what he's been able to do offensively on the positive end of things. This defense, man, they have seized on the mistakes and made life difficult. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. This one's taken in by Hill. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. Second and six coming up here. Two and now from the gun. He's on the move. He's going to keep it this time. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense and it can suck the wind out of that defense. First and 10 now, here's Tungavailoa. 
taken in by Hill, right side. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. Tonga Vailoa now working from the gun. And he's not going to escape this. The Jets drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. So for those of you keeping track, we get a solid completion for decent yardage on first. And then we go backwards on second. Kate, I guess we got a quality rubber match right here on third down. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Shotgun snap now to Tonga Vailoa. To the left sideline, complete. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Out of the gun, Tonga Vailoa. Got his target, it's Hill. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Short yardage situation here, it's third and two. To off the play fake. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. This one's caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally. But really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. Throwing from the gun. He brings it in. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five-yard line. A gain of three. And now they're going to be able to plan for first and goal. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted. And he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They send the tight end in motion. Tonga Vailoa working from the pistol. That's into the hands of Mostert. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins get it back to within two possessions. Raheem Mostert, the touchdown. He hung in there as long as he could. A lot of quarterbacks would have bailed out. And it was, it was what you talk about, Brock, that courage that kept the chant for the touchdown alive. Yeah, that touchdown's going to show up on his stat sheet making the catch or the quarterback stat sheet for making the throw. But, hey, can we put some touchdowns up there for the big boys up front? It was their blocking and buying of time for that play that led to the score. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
That lead trimmed just a bit. Down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. He stopped on the return at the 27. The visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled for a short game. There's no routes on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Flushed out of the pocket. Now he takes it. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Well, there was no sense in taking a risk down the field when a first down was just a run away. They'll get to reset now and figure out just how they want to attack a new set of downs. First and 10 from the 41. On the run, it's ETN. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. The one thing I could say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Lawrence throwing here. That's Thomas, he's got it. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Third down, Lawrence to throw. Coverage holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Cam Little now to try the Jags field goal. He was good on his first kick. Going to need to hit this one well to go two for two. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that pushes the lead up to 13. Those three points could go a long way to securing this W. Makes it a lot more comfortable knowing the other side's got to score a couple touchdowns now. A touchdown to field goals, not going to get it done anymore. On now is Cook to kick this away. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. This offense getting all set for this series. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Second and six coming up here. They put a receiver in motion here left. 
Going play action, Chunga Mailoa. Hauled in by Waddle. And he's up to the 35 yard line as they reel him in. Third and just two to go. Third and short, Mostert. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. They stop him just short and force a fourth and one. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. They'll go. It's Mostert. And he's going nowhere there. Add that to what's been a tough afternoon for him. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on downs. Well, I think every analytics book out there, Kate, said you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? This offense headed out as we get a look at their running back. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. First down, ball at the 36. An option give here to ETN. And he's taken down on a short run that gets inside the 35. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Tight end in motion right. On second down, it's ETN. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves them with third down and five. Davis, the motion man, right. Lawrence working from the gun. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Cam Little getting the call on fourth down here to put three up for the Jaguars. This a 48-yard look for him. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll give him a 16-point advantage. Well, it's hard to call that the official moment that sealed this win, but up 16 here in the fourth, it's going to take a heck of a sequence of events to see this game tied back up. On now is Cook to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. Back out runs their offense. And the last time we saw Brock, they took a risk, went for it on their own half of the field, but it didn't work out. Ball at the 33 for first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Barrios makes the catch. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins can make it a one-score game as they trim the lead. 
So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Yeah. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Here's a toss to the left. And he gets into the end zone. That is exactly why they went for two right there, Brock. It's back down to a one-possession game. Well, I hear you say it all the time, partner. It comes back to that word trust. And they trusted in their offense to go get those two points, make this one-score game. They do their job. Now one big play can change the entire outlook of this game for them. Yeah, now it becomes about complimentary football. As you said, the offense did their job. Now defense, can you not just get a stop? Can you get a turnover? Maybe take it to the house yourself. Either way, that conversion puts them one snap away from a totally different ball game. All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. Returning it from the four. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back to throw. Here's Lawrence. Taking the deep shot there on first down. Okay, no luck connecting. It's incomplete. You know, I love this, Kate, from an offense. Just philosophically, stretching that secondary out with your tight end. Even still, one of the deeper targets you're going to see him get. It's a shame they couldn't quite connect. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's a give to ETN. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Back to throw it. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's a Jaguar first down. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Here's Etienne on first down. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. Okay, this is why you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. You got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. It's the two minute warning from Miami. Jaguars leading by eight. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. ETN again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Third and six for them to figure out now. They go right back to ETN. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. No surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. And 
They'll send out the punting unit. And this is the fifth time he's been called upon today. The offense getting set to go. Well, Brock, it only took him one play to reach the end zone last drive. They might have to work a little bit harder this time out. They're out and set. First and ten. Looking to throw it. Quick hitter complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate. But it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces. But it can pay big dividends. Clock working against him here as they hurry to that line. They motion a receiver left. Throwing now. This one's taken in by Hill. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here he is to throw. On target to Waddle. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll be first down Miami. Kate, okay, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. To left sideline, complete. That one hits for 30. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Well, that's sure one way to take the lid off a of defense. Great work to find the biggest hole in the coverage. And more importantly, go exploit it. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. Now to throw. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. to throw this one finds burials and this one does not go far now the offense going to take its third and final timeout and now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least let's see what they draw up on this third and seven Looking to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? That's cut beyond the marker. And he's going to be just inside the 10 before he goes out. So the Jaguars, the visitors in this one, but they take home the win. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. So for Brock Heward, everyone here on our great crew, I'm Kate Scott, and this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jaguars as we say so long from Miami.